In this video, we're going to find our final uh, point of uh, comparison or point on our moment uh, curvature plot uh, for the example we've been working through. We'll be using the uh, ACI approach to find our nominal capacity. Um, so with ACI, uh, we'll use our Whitney stress block. Uh, with height beta 1c and magnitude 0.85 f prime c and we'll have our steel balancing asfy so our step one will be uh, to find our height c and we can do that using uh, equilibrium tension equal to compression so our tension we have asfy our compression we have 0.85 uh, f prime c times b times beta 1c. So we can solve for c and find our c to be as fy divided by 0.85 f prime c times b times beta 1. So we can now fill in all, the, all of our variables and calculate c. So we have an area of 2.37 fy is 60 ksi over 0.85 times 4 ksi concrete times 12 inch base times our beta 1 which is 0.85 for uh, 4 ksi concrete. Remember that if we have a different uh, strength concrete our uh, beta 1 is going to change. Um, but we can find our C then to be 4.10 inches. So using our C, we can now calculate our moment. So remember our nominal moment is going to be equal to our tension force, AS, FY, times our lever arm, which will be D minus beta 1C over 2. So we know our AS is 2.37, our FY is 60 KSI, our D is 16.7 or sorry 17.6 and our beta 1.85 times uh, 4.1 over 2 so then we can find our MN uh, will be equal to 2,259 kip inches. Um, so next we can find our curvature, um, our nominal curvature. So our nominal curvature will just be our strain at our top fiber divided by C. So remember for ACI we're assuming a strain of 0 0.03 at the top and we found our C below 4.1 inches. So we can calculate our curvature then to be 7.32 times 10 to the negative fourth radians per inch. So now we have our nominal curvature and our nominal moment, which we can uh, compare to our uh, more accurate estimate and uh, we can also use this for plotting.